welcome to this video. This is a highly requested video. I've gotten so many questions on Instagram about um, how to improve your mobility and flexibility and make it applicable on the walk. I'm going to share with you my top three tips for improving your mobility and my top five mobility exercises. So before we get into this video, it would mean a lot if you could hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Or is it a thumbs up button? I don't know. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into it. Tip number one, develop your range of motion through static stretching. Static stretches are gonna help you develop your range of motion and help you get the most out of the mobility exercises. When you're static stretching, you should always do this with blood in your muscles, probably after a workout or after a climbing session. Um, and I hold each stretch for two to three minutes. Not only are they great for developing your range of motion, but they're super important for injury prevention overall. Okay, tip number two, incorporate movement into your static stretches. So as you can see in these videos, I'm never really holding perfectly still. There are some points where you do wanna just breathe into the stretch and hold the position. But on top of that, it's really important to incorporate little tiny movements into your stretch. So as you can see, I'm always moving my hips around. I'm changing positions of my upper body and back. And I'm doing this because moving around actually is gonna loosen the muscles a bit and help them adapt to each position. Another reason why movement and breathing is so important in your static stretches is because it's gonna help with the pain um, that comes along with stretching. So a lot of people don't hold stretches as long as they probably should just because it's really painful. But what I do to help with the pain and take my mind off the pain is I'm doing these little movements, which is helping my body to adapt to each position and really focusing on my breathing. So by applying movement and breathing into your static stretches, you're gonna see a big difference in the pain level. Tip number three, develop your functionality through dynamic slash strength-based exercises. So in order to use the flexibility and range of motion you gain from static stretching, you have to build up certain muscle groups to be able to use that flexibility on the wall. And those primary muscles include your glutes, your hip flexors, and your core. And those are the areas that these mobility exercises are gonna focus on and target. So without further ado, let's get into it.
is being party. Okay, press play. It's already playing. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful. Um, keep in mind the three tips that I talked about. If you apply them, you're going to see a difference in your flexibility and functional mobility. And don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And also comment down below on more video ideas you would like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys next time.